Hello Summoners, and welcome to another episode of Theology 101, your introduction to the study of Fire Emblem Heroes. My name is Ilya Alador, and I will be your Theologist today. Fire Emblem Heroes is a game that largely revolves around resource management, and as such, Theology wants to give you a quick crash course over all the different kinds of resources you have at your disposal in Fire Emblem Heroes. Today, we are going to focus on Sacred Coins, and more specifically, Sacred Seals. So, to start out, what are Sacred Seals? As you can probably tell just by observing, each hero has seven different skill slots. There is the Red Weapon slot, the Green Assist slot, the purple special slot, and then three blue slots marked A, B, and C, which are your passive slots. Eagle-eyed summoners may also say at the very bottom, there is an S slot as well. This is your sacred seal slot, and it is one of the things you'll need to have a working understanding of to optimize many other aspects of the game, such as arena scoring, team building, and damage reduction to name a few. Equipping the proper sacred seal can be the difference between a perfectly optimized unit who excels, and a unit who gets hopelessly outmatched in fights they should be winning. To start off, how does one obtain Sacred Seals? There are three typical ways of getting them. Way number one, you can earn two with varying effects every month in the Tempest Trials event by reaching 10,000 and 20,000 point totals respectively. This is the main way you can obtain new seals without having to create them. You can earn a Sacred Seal every time you complete a new squad assault. These are always raw stat boosters, either single stat like attack plus one or double stat like HP plus three, defense plus one, which can both be upgraded using the third method. These seals are called squad ace seals. The third method for obtaining Sacred Seals is by completing chapter 13 of the main story and completing the intermission to unlock the Sacred Seal Forge. This can also be used to upgrade seals you get from other methods and this way, two more powerful forms. So, how do you create a Sacred Seal? Navigate from your home screen to the Allies menu by tapping the third icon along the bottom row marked Allies. Tap on the menu for Traits and Equipment, third from the top. You will go to this screen a lot for this video. To get new Sacred Seals or to upgrade them, go to the option that says Sacred Seal Forge. Once in the Sacred Seal Forge, near the top of the screen, you will see either Enhancement or Creation. You can toggle between these options as you work with your seals to create and then evolve your seals to higher levels. To work with Sacred Seals, you will need three resources, those being Sacred Coins, Badges, and Great Badges. There are four types of badges and Great Badges matching the four colors of units in the game. Every Sacred Seal has a certain color of badge you need to use in order to create and then upgrade them. Where do you get these materials? Badges and great badges can be obtained fairly easily through the training tower and quests. Most players who have been around for any significant length of time will have a massive stockpile of badges that they could never possibly use. Eventually you will get there. Sacred coins are the real limiters here. They can also be obtained in a variety of areas. You can obtain Sacred Coins every week by participating in Arena Assault, with the rewards beginning at top 3, 300,000, getting 10 Sacred Coins, all the way up to top 1,000, getting 30 Sacred Coins. You can get 10 Sacred Coins by completing your third Arena match every week, by reaching several point thresholds in Tempest Trial events, and by gaining tiers in Grand Conquests. You can also get them as quest rewards, like during the Voting Gauntlet, and you can purchase them in the Celestial Stone Shop, though that is not a method I would recommend, as those are pretty premium uh, currencies right there. So, now you know how to create Sacred Seals, you know how to upgrade Sacred Seals, how do you equip Sacred Seals? Let's take a look at that. There are a few methods of doing this, the simplest being to open up your unit menu by tapping or hovering over your hero. This is the menu where you can see their actual art. You can tap them to hear their quotes, and you can view their stats and skills. To equip a sacred seal, you'll need to tap on change skills. This menu allows you to change between different skills that you have inherited and learned on your hero. You should see equip seals near the top. Under that, it says current setup, and under that, you should see two options. 
one for Select Skills, and one for Select Sacred Seal. Tapping on the Select Sacred Seal brings you to a menu where you can scroll through all the seals you have collected and find the one you want to equip. Tap the desired Sacred Seal and hit Confirm at the bottom right. That is the first and easiest method of equipping a Sacred Seal. The remaining methods involve going back to the Traits and Equipment menu we covered earlier. From any of the six main screens, go to the Allies menu, then select Traits and Equipment from the list, and from there, the first two options may both be used to equip Sacred Seals. Uh, if you select Equip Skills, you can find the character you wish to equip a seal on and select them, then hit Next at the bottom right. This will bring you to the Equip Skills screen, which we covered in the last method. However, from the Traits Equipment menu, you can also select Equip Seals, which you may have noticed earlier. From here, you have two ways of pairing a hero with a Sacred Seal. Near the bottom of the Equip Seals screen, you will see the Back and Next options. Just above that, you will see either Select Ally or Select Sacred Seal. Tapping that option will allow you to toggle between the two methods. Select Ally should bring you to a familiar screen. It is very similar to the one just covered in the Equip Skills screen. You can find the ally you wish to equip a seal on, select them, and hit Next. From here, it will once again take you to the Equip Seals menu, which should look familiar from all the previous methods of equipping seals. Sorting by Select Sacred Seal, however, will change the order in which you do this. This brings you to the full list of your sacred seals, just like the other options for equipping seals, but in this method, you select first the sacred seal you want to equip, hit next, and then go and select the hero you wish to put it on. Lastly, we're going to cover, briefly, how you use sacred seals. And in short, there is no one correct usage of them. You can use them to enhance the native strengths of your units, to reach certain offensive or defensive thresholds to adapt to your other skills, to specialize a unit for a particular kind of combat, to allow for a higher cooldown special, to fix up a unit's greatest weaknesses, and many more. Sacred Seals are truly diverse, and their effects can really make the difference between a unit performing well and them being completely ineffective, and that is not an exaggeration. Ultimately, the correct way to use a Sacred Seal comes down at its core to what unit you are using and how you want them to function. If you are needing help with deciding this, go ahead and stop by the Discord server, where you will find lots of friendly people with great advice. What are some of the best Sacred Seals you can get? This is not an uh, answer that is easy to do quickly. There are tons of Sacred Seals. As of recording this, there are 220 Sacred Seals available in the game. Some are copies of others, but there are some with unique and very coveted effects. This being the case, we have put together a short list of what we consider to be the best Sacred Seals and how to use them so that you can find out best how to incorporate them into your builds and then I've scripted out and we are recording a brief rundown of the effect of every single Sacred Seal so that you can go in with the most knowledge ahead of time and make the best use of your currency. However, this video is getting long enough and so we will postpone that to a later date and a later video. If you'd be interested in that, hit the subscribe button so that when that video eventually comes out, you'll be notified.